Well, I just want to uh, demonstrate something I've been working on. Uh, it's something I've been working on with a view to future experiments. So, uh, basically, uh, it's a bipolar CW multiplier. So, I have two boards. Uh, it's a cockroft walton voltage multiplier, and so is that. One of them is set, is set up in a way to bring the voltage up more positively, which is this one. And this one is set up to bring the voltage more negative. Now, of course, with the CW multiplier, depending on which rail you tap on on the output end, uh, you'll have got one that's just the flat DC and one that it still has the waveform. But uh, so, for example, uh, when I'm feeding an ACRF signal to both of these, the mean voltage on one goes more positive and the mean voltage on the other goes more negative. But I can also tap it where there's still the waveform. So I have the two waveforms, which come from the one waveform, but one with uh, you know, <laughs> a potential difference to the other in the sense of the mean voltage. And uh, now this configuration is not permanent. Like this, uh, my input is through an isolation transformer at the moment, and the uh, output. Um, it's kind of like a, a Tesla bifiler pancake coil, but on a tor torus, a toroid, except it's the it's a twin. So there's one from each side and working inversely, and then outputs. But anyway, um, my scope that I'm using at the moment is old and dodgy. So at the moment, I've got both channels on the DC scale and what I'm showing at the moment is that I've got it set up so that both of the waveforms are on top of each other so you can see that they're at the same mean voltage now what I'll do this is all very dodgy is I will now remove the uh, scope probes from the uh, input side and I'll just pause this one sec. Okay so, okay, so now I've set it up so that the scope has channel 1 on the positive, channel 2 on the negative, and the grounds from the scope probes are just connected together. And of course, the input is still going through the isolation transformer. Uh, this is a magnetically variable inductor on the output. Now, without having changed the scope, I do have different magnitudes showing, so this is not a perfect scenario, but what you can see now is we have a mean voltage difference between the two waveforms. And um, well, so we have the positive here and the negative here. Now, what I will do is I'll adjust this magnet as I look at these voltages, at uh, these waveforms. So you can see I can actually adjust the mean voltage even further apart. And now that's gone out of range, what I'll do is I'll reduce the um, input voltage to make this more manageable. So, oops, let's see. So there's a uh, 12 volt peak to peak input and I will now adjust the magnet. So you can see I, I can adjust obviously to resonance but also in then the uh, mean voltage. But uh, but we still have a difference. Sorry about this terrible focus. Now, I'll just take this down to, I'll try to get this in shot. Terrible scope, 10 volt peak to peak input. I'm on the uh, 10 volt per division. I'll change that to five on each, five volt per division. Sorry about my terrible camera here. Now, you can see we've got these two waveforms again. So one of them is over five volt, and the other one's probably a bit over 10 volt. So I haven't got this well balanced yet, but just showing the basic concept. But what I do have is the two versions of the RF signal, but with a potential difference. I'll adjust the magnet again with a significant potential difference. So you can see how I can make these adjustments. Now, the, the whole tuning side, the, all the coils involved and everything will change. This is just a rough experiment so far. But fundamentally, this is what I want to work with because I have a number of experiments 
where I really want to polarize. I like certain antenna experiments, I like with my vortex antenna, for example, I'd like to feed a positive signal in one end and connect the negative to the other so that it's continually cyclic in one direction rather than the idea of reflecting back and forth, changing polarity. Tesla always said, polarize everything. And I have this idea in my head that the reversal of the electric and the magnetic fields is where we lose a lot of energy. Especially at higher and higher frequencies, we have uh, reluctance going on, magnetic reluctance, and uh, reluctance in the E-field, where we're having to switch domains around quite rapidly. And if we don't have to do that and we just change the magnitude, I imagine a signal over the long haul would suffer less loss. But I'm yet to prove all this stuff. But there you go. So um, by adjusting the magnet, I can adjust the, uh, the mean voltage between the two signals. Now this is non-ideal. It's not balanced properly, but uh, that's just a rough idea. I should also point out that on this particular configuration, I have um, set this up so that uh, it's like a balanced output in the sense of being 180 degrees out of phase on the two outputs, as you can see. Um, I could do this different ways depending on what my... Uh, uh, intention was behind the system. Another thing I probably don't need to point out for those familiar with CW voltage multipliers is of course the input voltage uh, determines of course the output mean voltage differential between them. So that's only a 10 volt peak to peak input. Now imagine you know let's say uh, 100 watts from a ham radio or something the uh, mean voltage would be a lot higher and therefore the difference between the two waveforms, their mean voltages, uh, would have a much, much higher difference. And I should point out that I'm not suggesting that the difference uh, in mean voltage between the two outputs changes the signal magnitude difference, but for certain purposes, uh, this uh, DC biasing uh, could be very, very useful for the experimenter like me. So I'll just show that I'll uh, raise the input voltage from 10 to 20 and you can see the mean voltage between the two signals uh, significantly increases. I'll now lower the positive one to bring that in and bring up the negative one. You get the idea. 7.3 and thanks for watching.